hello my friends uh, welcome back to the lab and uh, today in the lab i have this box but before then well uh today is a great day and uh we need to talk about a couple of uh, few things so in the lab i have this box and uh, this box is full of stuff and the stuff i'm talking about is things uh, like this so in here i have a couple of motherboards that are dead a couple of dead power supplies so stuff like this so this one i think it's uh, it's from a ups you know an interruptible power supply yeah. and uh, also i have some batteries i mean it's it's a lot it's a lot in here and uh, to most of you you might think that this is all waste well to some extent that is true uh, because so this is these are a couple of consumer grade uh, electronics that have ran out of life you know, it's a waste e-waste but to someone like me or you or someone who likes uh, electronics we know that there is a gold in here not I mean the actual gold but we can salvage some of these components also to someone who might want to get into electronics you can use stuff like this to learn well that makes the point of our today's video so today there is a thing i want us to talk about and the thing i want us to talk about is right here so this tiny component here that i'm pointing at now that is what is known as an optocoupler well today i want us to learn how to use one of these and also we can see where it's used in an electronic circuit well what better way of doing that other than heading to the bench well let's head the bench and uh, have this discussion we are at the bench so the device that we need to talk about today is uh, this little component here and uh, we say that this little component is known as an opto coupler so i have one here that uh, i knocked off uh, from uh, one of these circuit boards so just uh, you can tell the use of a component just uh, by its name so this name uh, the name for this uh, device is opto coupler and uh, you can also revise as a, a photo isolator or a, you know photo coupler so from the name uh, coupler so this means that uh, you are trying to bring two entities together and uh, by the name opto that means you are using a uh, light to do so so with this device there is an aspect of uh, light uh, involved in uh, electronics uh, sometimes you might have uh, two circuits uh, that need to work in harmony with uh, each other and at the same time uh, you need to maintain a physical uh, separation between these two circuits maybe because of uh, high voltages you want to separate the high voltages from low voltage uh, circuits uh, that that one is for safety purposes and also noise you don't want uh, noise to be transferred uh, from one uh, circuit to the other uh, that's uh, when you use something like this so this one is used to isolate circuits by definition this is an electronic uh, component that is used to transfer uh, electrical signals from uh, i mean uh, between two isolated uh, circuits so by doing so you are going to be preventing high voltages uh, or noise uh, from closing over to the receiving uh, circuit so now uh, in cases where we are using ac signals we can uh, use a transformer uh, to separate two or rather to isolate uh, two circuits so you can have a transformer like this and you have two windings so you have the primary winding and you have a secondary winding there so these two uh, windings are isolated by way of magnetic induction and uh, this side will be connected to our circuit a there and uh, this side will be our circuit b so whatever happens uh, in circuit a will be detected on the other side of uh, the circuit so this one will be used for ac signals uh, when we come to dc signals 
we use an uh, octo coupler so this device that we want to talk about today so you have uh, your device uh, like this so this is circuit a and uh, circuit b so whatever happens in circuit a will be detected on the other side so of the circuit that is circuit b now uh, for us to understand well how this component uh, works we need to have a look inside so i can use uh, a diagram to show how this device looks uh, inside it's a very simple device and uh, it has only two key components inside so let me do that in a diagram On this side where we have a uh, circuit A, we are going to have uh, we have an LED inside, and uh, on the other side we have a photo transistor. By that, uh, that means this is a transistor that is activated by light. So for the pinout, uh, on this side you are going to have your anode. So this pin is your anode. On the other one is your cathode up here you are going to have your collector for the transistor side and uh, this one will be your emitter there so how this uh, device works is that uh, whenever a small amount of current uh, will flow uh, through this led it will uh, produce light okay on the other end the transistor here will sense that light and it will uh, start conducting so therefore in that way we have transferred that signal to the other end maintaining a physical uh, isolation there so there is no physical connection uh, between these two points even if we measure continuity between these uh, these two points either point uh, i mean anode and collector cathode and emitter cathode collector anode emitter there will be no continuity there so this is our led and uh, photo transistor so this one will go to our circuit b and this one will be our circuit a so whenever we do uh, this kind of an isolation whether we have a transformer or a photo I mean a photocoupler so these two circuits are said to be galv galvanically isolated we don't have a physical connection but at the, at the same time we allow transfer of signals between two these two uh, circuits now uh, let's look at uh, an application circuit how we can apply this in a real life situation So this is a typical application circuit so we have our vc so vc is for controlling uh, voltage and our vsos and our load there so this uh, the current is supposed to flow to the load and uh, let's have this and we have a small uh, we have a small resistor there that one is for dropping the current that is going to the led so this is a low power device the output of this uh, device is around 50 milliampers so for this one this is 50 milliampers so the load uh, needs to not draw more than that otherwise we can uh, destroy this now what we need to do now is to start soldering this we can use uh, this fan for the load but i think this is a uh, this one draws like uh, half an amp which is uh, more than what this device can produce but uh, we are going to see how we can improve that also i need for the vc here I'm going to use this. So this is uh, 5 volts. 
Now for V source, we are going to use uh, this 9 volt uh, battery here. So if we try and uh, test the fan, so the fan is running okay. Now it's uh, time to start soldering. Now before we, we go we go ahead and uh, do this circuit, there is a, you need to know the pinout of this device. So there is a small indentation here, uh, this dot right here. So this one denotes our anode, okay? So this is our anode, cathode, uh, collector emitter. So this one, this device is like that. That is how we are supposed to connect it. So let's uh, connect this as per the circuit. I need a small resistor at the base, I mean at the anode, then the negative uh, side of the 5 volts will go there, then for the load, so this is our, the white is the positive, so the positive The positive of the battery needs to go to the collector and then uh, this uh, will go there then the negative goes to the battery there so when we activate this device okay we need the uh, 5 volts so when we activate the, the the optocoupler, the fan is supposed to start uh, moving, but uh, you can see it can't even start, but we are seeing some action there and uh, some noise. If we jump start it, and uh, you can see. So uh, that means this uh, the transistor inside this device cannot produce uh, enough current to run this. So what we can do, we can tweak this circuit a little bit and we can add a transistor here so that we can provide enough current. So, so we can add a transistor here. So the emitter will go to the base of that transistor and then the two collectors will uh, go together there. So that is how uh, we are going to do it. So I have a transistor here. So this is a NPN, yeah, NPN transistor. Also the transistor inside this device is an NPN. You can see the direction of uh, this arrow, the emitter side, pointing away from the base. So we reconfigure this circuit. We add the, so this is the base collector emitter. So the base of the optocoupler will go, I mean the emitter of the optocoupler will go to the base of the base of the transistor the collectors we are going to connect them together and then from the fan now the emitter of the bigger transistor the resistor came off Now if we activate the optocoupler, the fan should start rotating very fast with no hesitation. So this is how you use an optocoupler. Now uh, 
you we we see these uh, applications in uh, power supplies uh, for something like this see we have two there we have another one here and uh, so this is the feedback loop of this power supply so the power supply needs to monitor what is uh, happening uh, at the output so that it can uh, you know uh, regulate the switching the device of this uh, power supply and in that way it can control the output voltage or rather the output power uh, in doing so uh, we need a separation between these two sides see this side is uh, the high voltage uh, side and uh, the output is the low voltage uh, side you need to protect the output uh, you don't need the output to be live okay so you we need uh, an isolation there so this is a feedback loop and uh, we use a coupler there for that isolation well uh, to that uh, point I think I'm done uh, remember to share subscribe and uh, also leave a comment there well uh, let's meet uh, in the next uh, video